In today's video, I will be talking about all the tips and tricks and some of the hidden features for the Moto G 5G 2020. This is Variety Stick and let's find out. Tip number one, enable Google Assistance by double tap on the power key. Everybody knows you have to go to the Google microphone here and tap to enable the Google Assistance. In some other cases, if you don't want to go look and find the, this microphone for Google Assistance, all you have to do, double tap on the power key and Google Assistance it should work. Now, if that doesn't work for you, don't worry. All you have to do, go to the main menu, go to Moto right there, and you will see gestures. So just go to the gestures on the phone and make sure you enable power touch. After you enable, all you have to do, just press two times on the power and Google Assistance will work for you. Tip number two, lift to unlock. And let me explain what does that mean. Mean if you have the phone on the table just like this and you have the screen on black and you need to unlock the phone so normally what you need to do either you put the password or if you have a fingerprint or a face unlock then you just have to tap on the screen and then look to the phone if you have the face unlock or tap on the fingerprint now if you enable the face unlock feature all you have to do when you lift the phone just look to the phone and the phone will unlock now the phone did not unlock because the feature is not available right now I'm gonna go ahead and enable this feature and show you how it will work now let me just go ahead and unlock the screen and then I just need to go to Moto and then we need to go to lift to unlock and make sure this feature is enabled now if you enable this feature the phone will ask you to enable the face unlock feature if you already did it so you don't need to do this just make sure you enable lift to unlock now we're gonna lock the phone put the phone on the table now I'm gonna lift the phone and look to the phone and see if it's gonna unlock and boom the phone is unlocked right now without doing any efforts and this is very useful in my opinion especially for people to use the face unlock Tip number three, split screen by gestures. Everybody knows Android operating system offer multitasking, I meaning you can open two apps at the same time. And the classic way to do this, it would be, for instance, if I want YouTube, so I have to open YouTube, and then I have to go to the this button to bring the recent app that I have already open. And then you need to click on the YouTube icon right there, and you're gonna get the option for split screen and then I have to choose from the apps I have already opened the other application that I want to use for instance where you want to use the map listen to music both at the same time so I can do this let me show you how you do this by the gestures but you make sure always to enable this feature by going to the moto and go to the gestures and just make sure to go to swap to split and make sure it's enabled now here's what you need to do you will need to open the app that you're willing to open and for instance let's just open YouTube and then you just have to swap your finger from the left to the right and the right to the left I'm gonna show you how just go from the left to the right and go back now the phone will open the app drawer here and you can pick the other application that you want for instance I'm gonna use a map and boom and then I have two applications open at the same time Number four, shaking gestures. And this is useful in two cases. The first one, you wanna enable the flash. As everybody knows the flash, you just have to go to the bar menu on the top and go to flash, turn the flash on. Uh, even if you have the screen uh, off, you won't be able even to do it without. But all you have to do if you have this Motorola, just shake the phone. Now, if you wanna turn the phone off, just shake it again. Now this is the first thing you use these shaking features. Now we have uh, a twist feature and that will basically give you access to the camera right away. All you have to do is just twist the phone and the camera is available. Now you are on the back camera. If you want to go to front camera, just 
uh, do the same thing and that will change from the front to the back camera just by using the phone or shaking the phone. Feature number five, the screenshot. And that's very important features in my opinion because in a lot of cases we need to take a screenshot rather to be a receipt or certain pictures or something from a website. And I will show you four different ways to do it on the Moto G 5G. The first one, the classic way, power and volume down and the phone will capture the picture as you guys can see power volume down now if you don't like this because you know you, you have to grab the phone and uh, you know bring two fingers then it takes time and sometimes it doesn't work from the first time now there is another feature it's called three finger gestures but you make sure to enable this feature just go to moto gestures and make sure this feature is enabled on your phone if it's enabled in your phone, all you have to do, go where you want to take the screenshot and put three finger on the screen and hold and the phone will be taking the screen. Now there is another way to do it, let me show you, if you don't want to do the gestures or the power volume down key, open the app that you're willing to take screenshot to, let's say YouTube, and just press on the square or go to the recent and you will see a screenshot right there. All you have to do, tap and the phone will take a screenshot for this application. There is another way you can take a portion of the screen if you don't want to take the whole thing. Go to the stats bar right there and then search to GIF Maker and hit start. And this box you need just to put it where you want and you can adjust this box. You can make it big, small and all you have to do, press on the record button for one second and turn off and the screen capture has been already taken. Tip number six, button navigation or gesture navigation. And let me explain to you what does that mean. Now, if you go look here, these Android keys that help you to navigate the phone, you will see that you have uh, three buttons right there. One for recent, one home, and one back. This is the classic Android, so a lot of people got used to this, and they have the phone in this mode. Now, as everybody knows, from Android 11 and up, uh, Google has changed the way to navigate through the phone, and you can now use uh, gesture navigation. Now, if you like the classic way, just leave it the way it is. If your phone was already on the new gesture navigation, let me show you how you go back from the button navigation to gesture navigation. Now, all you have to do, go to the phone settings, and then you need to go to system, and you will see gestures. And then you're gonna see system navigation, and this will give you two options, gesture navigation or button navigation. Now, if you use gesture navigation, and let me show you, these three buttons has been disappeared, and you're gonna see this line. Now, if you swap this line to the top, it will bring the recent. Now, every time you're trying to go back, you have to swap from the right to the left, just like this, and this is the back. Now, if you already open app, all you have to do, swap from the bottom to the top, and that should take you to the home screen. So if you don't like this, just go ahead to the settings, again to the system, and go to gestures and system navigation and put it back on three buttons and you have the typical Android keys. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If it did, you can encourage me and give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe for more videos here on Variety Stick for other phone tips and tricks. Thank you so much everyone for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next video.